All right, we're back. Uh, I'm Luke. This is Shattered Pixel Dungeon version 1.0.3, a little walkthrough of the first dungeon levels for people who are new to the game. Uh, when we left off, I was in dungeon level four of the first dungeon stage, the sewers, and I was in a room that looked like it might be a trap room. The very first room might have a lot of traps, which sometimes does happen, and uh, I had walked into a cloud that I made, having tried to identify a potion by drinking it, and it turned out to be a potion of toxic gas. I was able to outrun the cloud for the most part, and now I'm in a corner here. I'm in a corner, and the cloud may or may not reach me. I can't remember if the cloud will reach that far. I'm going to wait one second if it does. Yeah, it's there. I can see it around me, so I don't want to stand in the cloud. I'm going to walk away from it. Okay, that's also on the door. That's a pretty big cloud. Those uh, those potions are pretty deadly. You don't want to mess around with a potion of toxic gas. They're very useful. You can use them to, to kill everything in a room as long as it's uh, not able to move, which is why it's great to use those in combination with a paralytic gas potion. You throw out a paralytic gas, paralyze everything in the room, then throw in a toxic gas and everything, uh, everything starts to die. That's a, see that key there? That's a crystal key. That means that there's somewhere on this level there's a crystal chest. There's usually a room with two crystal chests. We'll see in a bit. I'm sure. I don't die. Okay, that's a crab I don't want to bother with just yet. Oh crap. He wants to bother with me. Yeah. Okay, so I made a little mistake there, which is I tried to move a couple squares instead of one. Moving one at a time is a great idea. Um, this is a turn-based roguelike, so you can take your time. You don't need to move fast in this game. You can move slowly and you'll be fine. Uh, and it gives you lots of time to think about what your next move is. It's not like playing Diablo where you kind of, you know, run and gun, just like go around killing everything in a big frenzy. This is a, a very, a very slow thought intensive game <laughs> um what that guy did there was he dropped some meat that that meat is good you can you can eat the meat but it can cause you harm if you eat raw meat so you, you should cook the meat first which is you can do that in fire look at that crab oh that's a different crab huh. you can do that in fire or you can do it in um an alchemy pot uh but you can also freeze the meat. Ooh. Nice fly there. You can freeze the meat. And frozen meat will give you... I'm gonna go back through this door if I can. Uh, whatever. Didn't help. Um, frozen meat will give you a buff. It'll give you health, or it'll give you armor, or it'll give you temporary invisibility, I think. Um, it's good to eat frozen meat, so I'm going to hang on to that until I get to a chilling trap. Maybe I can take it back up to that chilling trap I didn't trigger in the previous level. Oh boy, I wish I had better... Where are my stats here? I got 11 strength. I don't have any... Uh... I could upgrade this sword to get to get it down to my level 11 strength. Uh, or I can just wait until I get the um, the strength potion. There's bound to be another one on, uh, on the first stage. Um, hmm. So that that trap there is a gas trap, um, and I could try to get the crab into the gas trap, but the crab moves too fast. Like even if I even if I were to somehow figure a way to aggro the crab so it comes at me and then trigger the trap and run, um, the the crab is going to run through the, the gas very quickly and not get hurt. So there's no other. you know what I think? I think that up here in this room, I think that uh, there's another hidden door that goes around because like like I was saying before, most of these levels are, are in a ring. And this is an awfully tight ring. So I think that there's more ring over here. If I go back around that way, there'll be some moves. But, hmm, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so it's not uh, not what I thought. Maybe I can sneak by. 
be sneaky. Oh, sneak by him. It's a mimic there. Do you see that? They're both mimics. Yep, they're both mimics. You can see the, the buckles up. Buckles above uh, the top line. Usually, usually the buckles below the lower line. I guess the lock. Okay. Crab might see me. Ah, sneak by him. Okay. Oh boy. A couple enemies here. Um, I do. Oops, I moved up to him. I need to do that. I don't want to get hit by both of these guys, so I'm going to step through the door. Well. Oh, it dropped health! Yes! Gonna need it, it looks like, because I just saw one of these doors open. That means that it, something's awake. A little potion of healing, that's amazing. This leads down to the boss. This is the boss level. You can see, you can see we're at level 5. You can see how, see how they, the key there turned black? That means that I, um, I have a key in my inventory and it won't work on this level. That's the crystal key. Oh, it's the, uh, the the iron key, actually. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I always go down those stairs, because uh, going down the stairs will reveal the entrance to the next level, and if I fall down, I can get back to it. But that's the boss level, so that's not going to happen, probably. Okay. Some more. Yeah, and that crab is... Uh, okay. So having picked up that uh, gold didn't really make a difference. I'm not going to be able to close this door because if I, if I back through the door, this crab is going to is going to hit me in the face because he gets two moves to my one. So I'm going to hit him, just duke it out with him, and try to win. There we go. That wasn't so bad. But, uh, what's that trap? Infusion gas. Right. Okay. That's that's a good trap. This is a, a very strategically interesting trap. Um, confusion gas. If something walks into it, they, they start moving around randomly. Uh, they do like a like a brownie in motion kind of thing. If there are pits around it and you trigger it, they can fall into the pits and die, which is great. This here is a barricade, which um, the only way through that is to, is to use fire, which means that um, anytime you see one of these on a level, that means that there's also a, uh, a flame potion. So if I pick up a potion on this level that I don't know what it is, there's a good chance it's a flame potion. I've got a key. I'll bet this is the room... I'll bet that's the room with the crystal chess. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Okay. These are two crystal chests. These can be mimics too, and when they're mimics, they're 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 real dangerous. Um, but yeah, these are... Uh, you, can, you can look inside the crystal chest and see what's in it. There's a ring in that one. And an artifact in that one. Um, so there will only be one key on a level with crystal chests, which means that you get to choose between the two items in them, unless one of them is a mimic, in which case you get the, the other item, but, um, do I want a ring or an artifact more? Uh, the artifacts can be interesting. A lot of them I don't bother with because, because they, they have, uh, specific needs, like they need to be fed, you know, um, pages of scrolls, or they need to be fed uh, um, seeds or something. And a, a ring is kind of a sure thing, and you can upgrade it directly with a with a scroll of upgrade if you want to. So I'm going to... Interesting as it might be to get the artifact, I'm going to get this ring instead. I don't know if it's cursed. Do I? Oops, I don't I need to search. Yeah, I don't know if it's cursed. I don't have a remove curse scroll. I do have two identify scrolls. I can identify the armor and I can identify the ring and, and see if they're any good yet. Uh, I might do that in a bit because I, I'll, I'll need to get everything together. That's a chill that's a chill trap there I can use to, to uh, freeze meat when time comes. Uh, okay, that's a slime. Just gonna move back. Oh, I leveled up. Good. Okay. Ah, so the tier 2 talents are now visible, even though I don't have any points. Um, I could take the last tier 1 talent. What do I want to do? Do I want... I've got both 
levels of the shielding. I don't really care about the identifying items give me health. Um, identifying items instantly or... I don't need it to be instant. I'll take, I'll take uh, three hit points when I eat a meal. Why not? Okay. Alright, okay, I'll just wait for this guy to get through this door here. Oh boy, okay. Pick up that money, fight that other knoll. Knolls only drop money, unless unless you've got like a an item that gives you extra drops. Like a spring of wealth or something. This guy, oh. Those mimics are going to be real tough. Um, it looks like there's a secret over here, doesn't there? Hey, I'm going to... Do I have any food in my inventory? No, I'm going to go that meat and the bland fruit. Neither of which are good. Um, I don't have any unidentified uh, potions yet either, which means that... Whatever potion... Wherever the uh, the flame potion is in this dungeon, it's probably over by the secret, or in one of these mimics. So I'm going to search here. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, okay, that's... You know what this is. This is, um... This is a summoning trap. And this room... Anytime you see uh, an empty room with a, skull, with a skeleton in the middle, that's a summoning trap room. The room is full of summoning traps. What I can do is, if I want to gain levels quickly, if I have uh, good health and, and good uh, uh, things to help me beat them, I, I can summon every enemy in this room just by triggering one of them, because uh, it'll cascade. This will summon uh, an enemy which will land in a summoning trap, which will summon an enemy and, until they're all summoned. Pretty much, usually it summons all of them. And then the room is full of all these uh, enemies that are stunned for like two turns. Uh, and I can take them one at a time at this door. Uh, but I, I can also throw in like a toxic gas potion or a, a paralytic gas and toxic gas or use a, a scroll of um, of uh, a scroll of rage to make them all fight whatever's nearest to them so they fight each other. And it'll take out all the enemies in that room and I'll get all the experience and I'll maybe gain a level. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't... I'm in no shape for that at the moment. Um, I'm not... I'm not Fed. I'm gonna fight this slime here, I guess. Doesn't matter which side I choose because there's a thing you have to go around here, so I'll just go here. Yeah, because it gets me closer to the door if I need to. Oh, slime's lost me. Um, slime here. Boy. I'm getting pretty hungry here. Um, oof. There's mimics down there. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna uh, go freeze this meat and then eat it. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a potion there. Okay, I'm gonna freeze the meat and eat it like I said I was going to. Here's how I do that. I throw the uh, meat... Usually what I do is if I have a stack of meat, I'll, uh... Oh crap, sorry. Here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll drop the meat next to the uh, trap, step away from the trap, and then throw something on the trap, like this uh, stylus, to freeze the meat. i wait for the trap to kind of go away so I don't freeze myself. There we go. Meat, stylus, and I've got myself some... Food. It doesn't fill me up all the way. My hunger, like, I'm still not satiated, but it gave me a, a little uh, buff here. I'll show you what the buff is. Buff is bark skin. Bark skin hardens my skin like armor. I can uh, I can use it to uh, you know protect myself a little bit. My my armor is currently increased by eight, which is pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do now because I don't have. I don't have anything in my inventory that can break through this barricade. Um, usually I would burn it. Um, I'd use either a potion of... oh crap. 
I'm gonna hit you with a ninja sword. Oh, yep. oh, these are fast, so you get two shots. There's my ninja stars. Oh, and he dropped the hand axe. Which is... Possibly cursed? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna grab... That's, uh, Noel. Okay. Oh, and something else just walked through the door. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna stand here so that I can trigger that, uh... I'm gonna stand on this side so I can trigger that dart trap. Um, if I need to, the next enemy. Ah, uh, lost him. Got a shot in on me. See, yeah, he was able to hit me for sure because I, I didn't have any ability to dodge because he was standing on the other side of the door. Usually they don't do that. Usually they, they're not smart enough to wait for me on the other side of a door. Okay, alright, so that's uh, slime here. Soften you up. My weapon's about to break. I'm about to lose one of my ninja stars next time I throw it. Get that. I'm gonna throw this arcane stylus at the dart. Hit him for sure. And okay. so again, this potion here is probably. Oh, something's opened a door up here. I'm gonna run into some company. Hey, it's a crab. I'm gonna. He's one. One square away from me, so I'm going to take a step back so he comes up to me. Yep, yep, now I've got the initiative. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Um, I've got some scrolls on me. Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to do a trick that I do. It's not maybe the smartest thing to do. I don't know if there's a better way to do it. Uh, if I get in too hot water, I can drink this uh, chilling potion and put myself out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this scroll here. Uh, throw this one anyway. I, I know it won't catch fire, but I, it still feels wrong to keep any scrolls on me when I'm about to do this. I'm gonna drink this potion. Sure enough. Okay, so I walk out of here. I'm on fire. Now I'm off fire. Now I'm down to 9 out of 45 points. I did a real number on me because there was no water around. Oh boy. Meat pie there, though. Hungry again. Meat pie couldn't come soon enough. Eat you. Good. Toxic gas potion. Potion of strength. Great. Okay, so that's two things I needed. Drink that. Perfect. It was bound to be there because it's the last level and I only had the one. Um, I can now. Something's just gone through that door. I can now switch to this. Short sword. I don't have anything... I was planning to use these two identify scrolls. One to identify the ring, one to identify the armor. But there's a chance that this is an enchanted hand axe. I don't think it's a good chance because it came from a drop from slime and I don't think they usually drop enchanted weapons. So it's probably not worthwhile to use the identify scroll on the hand axe. But it is for the armor because then uh, I'll know if it's, um, if it's uh, cursed. And I can use it right away and use my, um, my, um, my seal on it right away. Um, I'm just gonna use this sword. I'm just gonna equip this. It takes a couple of turns to, to equip something, so you, you wanna be, you wanna do that when you have a sec. I'm just gonna wait. Smack him. Dies. It's a little bit better than my one short sword, but not much. Okay, so I am going to at this point, because I'm about to fight Mimics, I'm going to use this here. See what that armor is. It's just regular armor. Detach. So I detached my seal from my, my cloth armor, equipping this armor, this leather armor. And I'm going to affix to the leather armor my seal. So now it's at least plus one leather armor. I've got a, I've got a better sword, plus one leather armor, and I'm going to... Identify this ring because um, it might be cursed, and if it's cursed, it's going to give me the opposite effect of whatever of whatever it is. So if it's like a ring of uh, of haste, it'll make me slower um, if it's cursed. I wouldn't want that, especially considering you know how weak I am otherwise at this point in the game. I'm going to identify it instead before I use it. It is a ring of tenacity that is cursed. 
Okay. Okay, so a ring of tenacity. Yeah, when worn, this ring will allow the wearer to resist normal, resist normally mortal at, uh, strikes. One, uh, the more injured the user is, the more resistant they will be to damage. A cursed ring will instead make it easier for enemies to execute the wearer. You can feel a malevolent magic lurking within this ring. When worn, this ring will reduce the damage you take by up to negative 38.41%. So the closer I am to death, the more likely it is to finish me off. I'm definitely glad I did not put this ring on. You can tell it's cursed because um, uh, this is a, an unidentified object that um, you can't tell if it's cursed or uncursed. This is an un unidentified object that you at least know is not cursed. It probably be because I got it from a... I got it from a uh, treasure room. Um, some treasure rooms, yeah, that, that you know right away if it's if it's uh, if it's that it's not going to be cursed. Um, so that's why this is blue. This one being red means it's cursed. Do not put that on. I don't have anything to uncurse it. I'm I'm. That's a good. That was a good buy using that uh, that uh, identify scroll on that ring instead of the hatchet. Okay. Moving on. These two guys. This scroll here is a Rido scroll. I don't know what it is because I haven't identified it yet. I can identify it with that identification trick if I go a couple dungeon levels up. Do I have the... You know what? That's not a bad idea. That'll, that'll give me some time to, for my food. The fact that I'm fed to... Whoops, that's down. Yes, yeah, that's silly. Okay, that's up. Oh, gotta kill you first. And I've leveled. Great, and I get a tier two. I get a tier two ability. So the first one I'm gonna take. Okay, th this one is Iron Stomach, which um, pre prevents you from taking damage uh, while you're eating, which is that's good. Um, tier two restored willpower uh, restores shielding. That's a good one to take. I'm, I'm probably gonna take some of that. I get six points as level instead of five for tier one. And I've got more to choose from here. So this one I might take a little bit later. I want to take this one, this Runic Transference, because I, I can, um, if I use this, level one lets me uh, uh, take the, the glyphs that I make with the um, Arcane Stylus and transfer those with my with my uh, br Broken Seal as well. Um, level two it works even on the powerful and curse glyphs. So if I, uh, some, there are some people who do some really advanced stuff with uh, cursed armor. Uh, if it's cursed in just the right way, it gives them some advantage for their the way they're playing. Uh, I have never done that, um, but there is a way to to curse an item um, using alchemy, uh, which I'll leave that as an exercise for the reader. But really, what I'm interested in is um, is the powerful glyphs. If I happen to write on my armor and enchant it with a powerful a powerful glyph. To be able to take that with me. So I'm gonna take that one. Um, show you the other ones here. Lethal Momentum is another really good one. Uh, when the warrior lands a killing blow with a physical weapon, it has a 67% chance to take zero turns. So it, level two is 100% chance. Um, that's that's a really good one for if you like to get surrounded by enemies and just take out one after another. Um, that's This is a good... Uh, good ability to have. I usually like to play a bit more strategic than that, so it's not the most important one, but um, you always get in a situation where you're surrounded, and it, it really helps to have that. Improvised projectiles is another interesting one, um, and it's more in line with how I play. Uh, the warrior can blind an enemy for two turns by throwing any item that isn't a thrown weapon at them. This has a 50, two, uh, 50 turn cooldown, so um, you can blind him for two turns for level one, three turns for level two. Uh, and it lets me take any weapon that isn't that isn't a throwing item, so not a potion even, uh, not a throwing weapon, nothing that's meant to be thrown or has a like a an effect when thrown. It would be something like um, a piece of armor, a piece of food, a stylus, you know, something that's uh, that's not meant to be thrown. If I throw it at the enemy, it'll blind him for a couple of turns, um, and it has a cooldown of 50 turns, which is not great, but. Potentially, potentially useful. So I might take a level of that, but right now I'm just going to take this uh, runic transference. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to inscribe on my armor with this arcane stylus and see what it gives me. Some of the. Uh, oh boy. I saw a pink flash. Is that? Oh, it's obfuscation. Okay, this is a decent one. Uh, it makes you harder to detect. 
that's all. That's good. It means that I'm going to get more surprise attacks, I'll be able to sneak better. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Okay. Uh, some of them aren't great. Some of them, like the, the uh, Armor of Affection, is, is considered a, an enchantment. Um, it makes anything that attack you, there's a chance that it'll, it'll like, uh, be charmed by you, and then it won't attack you anymore. It'll just, like, follow you around for a bit, but it won't do anything much beyond that. I don't really like that one. The Repulsion one can be useful. Uh, if something hits you, it'll bounce back. But it, that can also make uh, enemies that you wanted to uh, to fight uh, in case they drop something good. That can make them bounce back over a pit, and then they'll fall into the pit. If they're like a fly, for example, they drop um, they drop health potions. But what good is that? It, now it drop. Now when it it goes over the pit, uh, it, you know that now there's a, a good chance that it's going to die over the pit, and you're going to lose the health potion. So, um, yeah, this is a good one. The obfuscation one's not a bad choice. So I promised I was going to go up for a bit, and I was going to go up again. I have to go up again. This is a lot of my food here, but okay. Kill you. Go up a level here. Go to this alchemy pot. Identify this scroll. Flock. Stone of Flock. Which one is that again? Stone of Flock. It's hard to see because it's so gray. Ah, that, that's the uh, Scroll of Mirror Image correlates. Stone of Flock makes a flock of sheep um, that can get in the way. Those are actually really useful. So uh, I'm actually I'm actually more interested, I think, in the Stone of Flock than I am in the Scroll of Mirror Image, which just makes um, uh, up to four copies of me that are uh, invisible and incredibly weak, um, but can at least hit an enemy by surprise. Uh, but if they, if they get hit, they're dead. Um, they start invisible, and, and if they kill an enemy, they'll, they'll be visible, but yeah. They're, they're, they're okay, I've just never had any luck with them. The Stone of Flock has an interesting application in that you can use... Oh, check that guy. You can use the Stone of Flock to disarm traps. So if there's a bunch of dart traps, like a bunch of poison dart traps in a room, uh, say there's a treasure room with a bunch of uh, poison dart traps that has um, gold over top of a lot of them, you can just put the flock of sheep, you can throw the, the stone of flock in that room, make a bunch of sheep to trigger the traps. The traps will uh, target the sheep, which don't even take any damage, because they're, like, they're like magical sheep. Um, and then when the sheep disappear, all the traps are gone, and, and you can uh, you can use the um, whatever was on the traps. You can get just grab whatever was on the traps. Um, in this case, uh, speaking of traps, I think I'm going to step on this teleportation trap. Uh, maybe not, because there's a good chance it'll take me over here. I was thinking it might get me closer to the... It might get me closer to that door, but there's a chill trap in the way there, so there's a good chance it's get more stuck. I'll just... Whoop. Fly. Oh, fly. I think you can use up uh, the... Oh! You can use... I think you can use up the item drops of the flies. Oh, it's a fly again. Take you back here. Yeah, I'm obfuscated, so he almost walked right by me. I had to hit him with a ninja star to get his attention. I put a space of two between them. Okay, well, I got one. I got one health potion out of the deal. That was pretty good. All right, gonna go back down. What else have I got to do? I've got, I've got to kill two mimics. This is a long level. This one. Um, I got to kill two mimics, and I got to kill. I got to. Uh, I, I'm going to use that summoning room to to get my experience up. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to take this mimic out first, because I can drag him around here and. Uh... <laughs> right. Around the mulberry bush here. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, didn't want that to happen. Um, the pathing, I, I meant to, to go back around, but it, uh, by, by clicking here instead of clicking step by step, I pad the wrong way and I took two hits from this mimic. Not what I wanted to do. Gotta be careful about the pathing in this game. That's, uh, oh, two things. I got a potion of invisibility. And a round shield that I can't use yet, and I designed, and I 
that's not identified. Um, I don't really like using shields that much. They're, you can use them as weapons, but they also add block. I, it's a bit of an over-defensive way to play, I think. Might work for some, but I've never had luck. I've never had luck uh, um, having lower attack and higher defense. Okay, all right. So this uh, this mimic now. I need to figure the best way to draw him over. I'm gonna stand on this side and, and go around that same pillar. <laughs> all right. So he gets a free shot because uh, I was surprised. I could have I could have awakened him with a ninja star. I probably should have done that. had to traverse a square to get to me. There we go. A ring and a hatchet. Neither of which I can identify. And I don't have any, again, I don't have any um, um, remove curse scrolls. You can use an upgrade to remove a curse. Uh, it's not as reliable as a remove curse scroll and it uses up your upgrade scroll, which I don't want to do. I don't want to take my chances using an Unidentified item. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Now for the boss party. I'm going to I'm gonna throw this potion of toxic gas right into the room here. Let them all eat gas. It'll soften them up before they get to me. Oops. Unless I get softened too, because I'm... Okay, I'll just... Let's wait here a bit. That's a fly. It's too bad the fly's gonna die early. I'm not gonna drop my, any, uh... Drop as many, um, health potions, maybe. I've leveled up. I've leveled up. Okay, great. That's going according to plan. Um, I've got one level of the Broken Seal. I don't have another Arcane Stylus. So I'm not going to take the other level yet. I'm going to take something more useful right now. Restored build power, drinking a potion of healing. Instantly recharges 67% of the healing. Lethal momentum. Um, improvised projectiles. Which of these do I want to take? This one I don't care about Iron Stomach. Um, I do care about... I take the restored willpower. That shielding is uh, is pretty useful. Is that all the enemies? Sure is, and the cloud is still there. I'm just gonna wait. Do you see a door move? Wait, 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 wait. That's a while, eh? Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. Okay, now I'll get that. And it's a scroll of recharging. Okay. Okay, good. Alright, I think that's it for this level. I'm at level 8 now. Um, I think it's about as high as I can get. I don't think it lets me get to level 9. Maybe it does, because I still have experience. But there, there comes a point um, in any of these levels where... Uh, any dungeon stage where uh, you stop getting experience points for anything but the, uh, the very top tier, the very, like, most dangerous um, enemy in that dungeon stage, and then eventually you stop getting experience for even that, so it tops out your experience. Um, you can you can get to up to a reasonable level, like, this is dungeon level 4 and I'm at level 8. Um, you can get up to a reasonable level of experience, but uh, uh, eventually you'll stop even dropping anything. You'll stop, you'll stop making drops, you'll stop giving you experience, so there's no reason to stick around. Um, it prevents people from grinding forever to get up to a, a level where everything is easy. But it's a good idea to grind a little bit. Because it does pay off up to a certain point. I saw that door open. That door just opened, so there's something else coming through. Little fly. Is this even giving me experience, the slimes? 
Yep, four experience. Okay, so I'm still getting experience. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's gonna fight a mirror. No experience for that. And no potion either, so. Um, and I'm hungry again. Oops, that's, uh, I've got nothing to eat except that bland fruit, so I better not dilly dally. I better, I better start heading down and fight the boss. That's what we're gonna do in the next video.